In this video, guys, we're going to look at how we can use TradingView as a handy pre-market screener. Stay tuned. Hey traders, well, welcome to you. All right, so TradingView in front of me now on the screen. Try to compress it down so I can um, record the screen for you. It's a little bit more compact than you probably would have if you've got multiple screens or bigger screens, but it gives you an idea of what to kind of how it all operates. All right, so um, down at the bottom left here, we've got stock screen. Now, some of you may be familiar with this, some of you may not. Now, you have some presets in here already. Uh, trading view off you a few kind of presets so one way of doing it is a pre-market screener uh, and generally this tends to be used as a uh, kind of fundamental screener but this is a good pre-market screener to find stocks that are moving pre-market so maybe you're a trader who likes to trade the active stocks at the open or you kind of tra trade the uh, pre-open session if your broker allows your access to it or you just want to see stocks that are going to hit your watch list for maybe an afternoon momentum always look for those ones that are driven and then further uh, further move higher there's some rules to that on that go and check that out so extended hours down here open your stock screener click on extended hours now i have the pro i think i have on trading view whatever the, the, the top tier is um and i don't know whether this applies to every tier so if it's not in your tier um maybe you need to upgrade i don't i don't quite know whether the free tier offers this but let's assume it does i think if you um i think you can get this as long as you have the data fee but the data fee is inexpensive anyway and by the way they always do kind of lots of offers on trading view where you can pick up a year's access for uh, a reasonably discounted price okay so there's a few things to look at here so I like to click the extended hours. Um, sometimes I'll have it uh, set for um, earnings only. So here you can kind of, uh, on the filter section here, where is it down here? You can go to, you can just type in earnings. I just turned it off actually just to get it, get it ready. Uh, earnings. So here you can go recent earnings date. So either today, yesterday, previous five days, this week. Sometimes if I want to screen for stuff that's just up on earnings rather than news, I will select that. So I'll say, okay, this week, fine. Uh, and now I know that I've got that selected. So my filters are recent earnings date this week. I can do today if I want to see stuff that's up on earnings. Um, I can take out the ETFs. I can just make sure I've got the exchanges. I want. don't want the OTC stuff in here, uh, etc. And that's going to now give me stuff that's, that's literally gapping up pre-market. But for this video, I'm going to take off the earnings. Um, we can just go to here. We can just go to any. So we've just got any move. Now it's basically saying any stock that's moving aggressively pre-market. Now I like to filter for, or sorry, I say sort by volume. So what I'll do is a pre-market volume, I'll just click that and it will automatically go from high to low, low to high. I want to see stuff that's got volume. So here we've got BFRI, whatever this is, pre-market change up 125%. Now, one thing to make sure you've got, make sure you turn your regular trading hours off, put on extended trading hours, and then you can have shading set to your to your uh, preference. So this is kind of showing me, okay, well, for whatever reason, we kind of rallied up. Uh, it's almost, you know, it's a huge move up. And is it something I want to trade? So I can now start to screen through. And one thing I can do, is uh, happens if, uh, if you just right click on it, you can add that to your watch list. So I'll add that to a pre market movers watch list. Fine, that goes in. So I can build that watch list and then I can go back and just screen through the watch list. So the, the purpose of this is, is to screen for things that might be useful. Another pharmaceutical type thing here. I'll have a look at that and say, oh, okay, that's that interesting. And for me, I don't particularly like trading the pharmaceutical or biotech, just personal preference. I like trading the tech stuff. So I can obviously go in and look at the stock and see what the company does. If it's not obvious from the name, often it is obvious from the name, but I can always go and see, say, oh, this looks interesting. Uh, maybe it's too low price for me but i kind of going down with volume now and saying oh this you know is this is this a possibility no maybe too low price obviously that's an etf uh wish might be interesting big market mover um uh that's kind of a, a, a non a pharmaceutical stock it's a, a internet retail type company done a reasonable mar a pre market volume is it moving enough for me so i can start to filter i can start to filter i can start to add stuff in i can and then once i've added them to my watch list so I'm saying, okay, let me uh, let me add them to the watch list. Fine. And bear in mind, guys, I'm doing this on Thanksgiving. So some of these are going to be um, 
you know, I don't know how uh, TradingView deals with that type of stuff, but the process is identically the same. It's identically the same. Well, happy Thanksgiving, by the way, to uh, guys across the pond. We don't have a holiday here, uh, but you guys do. Hope you're enjoying the day. Uh, whenever you're watching this, you're probably watching this way in the future and going, what are you talking about? But it's Thanksgiving today. Anyway, that's how you screen for stuff, and I add that to my watch list, and then I'll go through that watch list and just scan. Now, another thing I want to show you is this button here. So you can manually refresh or you can refresh every 10 seconds or refresh every minute. So I quite like having it on a regular refresh because if something has suddenly moved, let's say there's pre-market news on it, and I'm scanning this before the open, it will come up and it will pop up. And if I'm constantly screening uh, by volume or by market, I don't like necessarily doing by price or by percentage um, because you're going to get low volume stuff. And if it's low volume, I'm just not interested. It's got to be reasonable volume. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to look for stuff that's moved a lot and has got a decent amount of volume and is at a reasonable price. And then I add it to the watch list and I'll go through the process of looking through it and see if there's anything I want to trade or is there's anything that I want to maybe look at later in the day for that afternoon predator strategy but these are kind of feeding it beforehand now obviously during the trading day you might screen through and look for the movers and trading view has got a nice kind of uh, thing on the side here you can have about volume gain is percentage gain is a screen like this but this is a way of doing it pre-market you get the pre-market info you can see what's moving you can see the volume that's going on you can then do some research into the stock if you only want to trade specific sectors put that into your watch list almost like a sieve goes through a filtering process and then you can kind of focus on one or two if you're very actively day trading those or you can kind of scan those, put some alerts in, put some things in and say, hey, if this extends heavily during the trading day, comes back to the VWAP, great. I'm going to come in and look for a break of the high after 6 p.m. UK time or whatever you've got structured. That's a good way of doing it. A handy way of using TradingView, which I know not many of you use, for a screener rather than buying an additional screener, putting it through, and it's a handy process and a useful process, useful tool actually uh, as well. Take care, guys. Keep your risk managed. Bye-bye.